Morning Church, here's some hope for Friday. It's from Psalm chapter 27, verse 13. I believe that I shall look upon the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Do you believe that? Do you believe that one day you will look upon God's goodness in the land of the living, in the new heavens, in the new earth, with resurrected bodies on a resurrected world, worshiping and serving the resurrected Christ. Do you believe that one day you will see the goodness of God in all of his glory? That is what David says here. I believe that. I. He didn't say, I think, or I hope, or I wish. He said, I believe. I believe. I trust that the God who is, verse 1, my light and my salvation, the God who is my stronghold, the God who uh, hears my cry, verse 7, the God who teaches me, verse 11, this God, the God who will not give me up to the will of my adversaries, verse 12, this God I shall look upon his goodness. I'll see his goodness. Everything that's good and beautiful and wonderful and holy and majestic and captivating, I will see that one day in the land of the living. Our future is a living future. It's a living hope. It's not a, I don't think so, but I hope. It is assurance. Assurance does not exist in the word maybe. It's definite, not because of who we are, but because of who God is and what he's promised and the future that he has prepared for his beloved. And in Christ, we are his beloved. I believe that I shall look upon the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. And that gives me the power to live in faith like I've already seen his goodness. And as I look into his word, and as I look into the eyes of image bearers, I see his goodness in his spirit's presence in and through them. It's just a taste of glory. Shall we pray? Father, Thank you so much. Give us eyes to see and ears to hear and a heart to experience your goodness, knowing that it's just a taste of forever with you. In Jesus' name, and the church said, amen.